This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by the Sussex County Association of Realtors. Residential versus commercial. It's a decision you may find yourself making if you're thinking of starting a business. If you already have a home business, how do you know when it's time to expand beyond your home? Well, here to help us sort it all out are Rob Harmon and Sandra Ware, members of the Sussex County Association of Realtors. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Rob, let's start with you by learning the difference between residential and commercial. Well, you mentioned being in the nest. Uh, you know, certainly you're referring to a home business that was you know, in your place of residence. Certainly the first indication that it's probably time to move out of there is if you become uncomfortable entertaining clients and customers at home, or if your business is expanding to the point where you need more square footage, then you might want to consider leasing a space or even purchasing one. Now, a lot of people are still worried about the economy, and when they think of commercial property, they may think that's a pretty expensive investment, but it's not, is it? Not necessarily, no. Um, you know, it all equates down to a monthly payment that you can afford. You know, and it's a business budget like everything else, like your home budget. So if you can afford um, a lease payment that's comparable to what a purchase payment would be, there's really no reason not to invest in real estate the same as you would as your residence. What are some advantages to investing in commercial real estate? Pretty much the same as it would be with your home. Um, you're, what you're hoping is that it's going to appreciate in value, it's going to give you an asset that you can borrow against, and you have control over it. Now, Rob, oftentimes these commercial properties are available for lease. They are. Is there an advantage to leasing over buying commercial property? Well, again, there might be an advantage if you were a little insecure of where your business was going, but if you had the confidence that your business was going to be secure over the next several years, there's really no reason not to consider purchasing. Now, Sandra, there are many advantages from working from the comfort of your own home. Are there signs that you need to move beyond your home walls? Absolutely, and I hear this all the time. There's a lot of businesses that started small or because they just wanted to be an entrepreneur and then all of a sudden it's taking over their life. They know they need a bigger space when they need to expand the equipment, maybe have to hire additional personnel, and they're, they're basically this home-based business needs to have a location that will be driven by a destination policy uh, property, excuse me, one that would have signage on the highway or to draw their attention from their advertising and marketing. And we see this a lot, but you have to remember that an investment in real estate is going to be re uh, the return on investment by leasing it. We can do the evaluation for them, or you can buy the property. It depends on your finances at the time. Sometimes you have to start slow and small, and leasing is the way because there's very little, um, let's just say, um, there's less documentation you have to provide for that, and it's also easier on the pocketbook for those entrepreneurs that need to start out there on the highway. Yeah, because buying commercial real estate is different from buying your home. Well, if you're buying, obviously you have to have about 20 to 25 percent down for that purchase investment, and we can help you with the uh, paperwork, we can help you with the um, doing all the calculations. As a commercial practitioner, uh, Rob and I are part of the PCA, which is the Peninsula Commercial Alliance, and we basically have joined with a lot of other commercial practitioners in Delmarva Peninsula to help bring those messages out to the public. So you know when you need a commercial practitioner, someone who does this for a living, and it's not just part-time at it. If it all boils down to one thing, what is that one thing we need to remember when buying commercial real estate? Well, you'd certainly want a real estate professional. You'd want a realtor who is specializing in commercial real estate because there are some vast differences. And that's one of the reasons why we formed that Peninsula Commercial Alliance is because we lined up realtors from all the way across the peninsula who do specialize in commercial real estate. And also, you have to know when it's, you should rent versus own. And there, the investment, whether or not you're ready to go public or maybe you just want to do flex space out there. There's other buildings out there that we're aware of that you might be a partnership in and it's a lot less out of your pocket when you're just getting started. How much equipment do you have? How, much, how many personnel do you need? How expansive are you? How much signage do you need? All those are factors in deciding. All good things to think about if you're buying real estate. Thank you, Rob and Sandra. And if you would like more information about commercial property investment or the Sussex County Association of Realtors, go to our website, delmarvalife.com. Click on the show tab on the left side of the page.